There is more vaccine confusion tonight. A Burbank mother with a special uh, medical needs child was turned away from a vaccine super site, but she says she's entitled to a shot. Well, the state says caretakers of children with special disabilities are eligible to get a vaccine with the health care worker group in that current phase happening now. So why was the family turned away? Kick on Sarah Donchi has our story tonight. If being a mom is a full-time job, caring for a child with a medical condition can feel like working overtime. Elizabeth lives in Burbank with her two kids. Her son was born with a disability that makes him susceptible to getting sick and ultimately suffering from seizures. He has eight different specialists that he sees. And even though we are in a pandemic, that doesn't stop. The state of California now says that parents or caretakers of children with certain disabilities or conditions could be eligible to receive their COVID vaccine with the health care worker group in phase 1A. This generic letter is posted on the Department of Developmental Services website for anyone to see. Elizabeth says she printed it out along with a detailed note from her child's doctor and made an appointment to get vaccinated at the Six Flags Magic Mountain site. But when she showed up, she says the workers there wouldn't take her paperwork and turned her away. We're here for a vaccine. And why are you bringing over a security guard and treating us like we are, we are trying to pull something over on you? But Dr. Barbara Ferrer suggested that some families are trying to use the letter without valid medical reasons to cut in line. Uh, lots of people were Xeroxing it. Frankly, lots of people were using it uh, inappropriately to claim that uh, they were, in fact, uh, the caretakers, uh, the health caretakers of, uh, of their children. Elizabeth said some of the workers at the vaccine site wouldn't even look at her child's doctor's note. I felt very helpless to um <clears throat> you know to have a child who has medical needs there's there's only so much we can do to protect them dr ferrer expressed concern about people trying to game the system but admitted she feels badly for families who are truly in need i feel so bad about this um but there are literally hundreds of people every day uh that come to our sites uh, that are not really uh, in an eligible group Elizabeth hopes the state and counties will issue new guidelines that will help parents like her prove they're eligible when they show up for their shot. For now, all she can do is wait and hope her son stays healthy. If our goal is to get a vaccine out to as many people as possible, as efficiently as possible, then having confusion and chaos at the vaccine site, that's the opposite of, of getting things out efficiently. Dr. Ferrer says the county is already working with regional centers to offer personalized letters that could prove someone's eligibility to get a vaccine. Sarah Donchi, KCAL 9 News.